Hey, this is Jeff Rose, GoodFinancialSense.com. Welcome again. Glad you can join me. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about a question, or actually I want to answer a question uh, that I get quite frequently uh, from the blog. Um, a lot of people find my blog. A lot of these people are uh, want to get in the industry, you know, want to become a financial advisor. Uh, and a lot of times they'll ask me, like, hey, Jeff, how did you get started? Um, you know, what can you give me some, uh, some tips as far as getting started as to be a financial advisor or financial planner? So, you know, I thought the best way to answer that, I'm actually working on a post, too, that I'm actually seeking the counsel from, uh, from some other financial advisors and kind of how they got started. Uh, but today I really just want to kind of share my story, um, how I got started, and what kind of, you know, led me down that path to kind of where I'm at today. So hopefully this is helpful uh, and inspirational for any of those that want to uh, follow uh, in my footsteps, so to speak, or anyone's footsteps as a financial advisor. So, um, but basically, my story: um, I was a finance major at uh, Southern Illinois University, and honestly, did not really know what I wanted to do. I know that I was going to be in finance. I knew I was going to be in numbers. Um, I'd always had been uh, in sales uh, throughout my younger life. Um, I think the first job I had, first real job, was selling party goods supplies at, uh, while I was in high school. That later turned into a job at Radio Shack where I was selling electronics. And then in college, I was uh, working at GNC, uh, the nutrition store uh, in the mall, selling uh, vitamins and protein powders and all that stuff. So um, that's always kind of been my nature. I always like helping people and, and especially trying to help problem, you know, help their problems or you know, solve solutions for them. Um, so anyway, I was going to uh, Southern Illinois University majoring in finance. And right about the end of my junior year, it kind of hit me that I really hadn't done anything yet as far as experience. Yes, I was working, you know, a uh, part-time job. Yes, I was in the National Guard. So I had some good resume stuff. But I really didn't have anything that was really centered around finance. So I kind of had one of those pucker moments where I'm like, hey, I need to do something. Um, so I kind of looked in the area and needed to have realized, that, hey, I need to do an internship of some kind. So um, at the time, there was an A.G. Edwards office uh, in our uh, my town here in Carbondale. And uh, my dad knew one of the advisors there, so he kind of put a phone call in for me and kind of you know, found out who I needed to talk to. Um, so I applied, and for an internship uh, between my summer, uh, summer vacation, so to speak, between my junior year and senior year, uh, and I got it. Now, this internship was uh, not much of anything. Uh, you know, I filed, um, I did um, paper shredding, uh, and just a lot of the, the basic administrative type things that you expect an intern to do. Um, didn't really get a lot of experience other than the fact that, hey, I got my foot in the door. Um, you know, I had to have that. There was that, that big step. Um, you know, I showed up each and every day, you know, wearing my shirt and tie, looking professional. And, you know, the other big thing was, you know, I, I made some connections. Yeah, I met some of the other advisors there, uh, you know, started to inquire about the business. And somewhere along the way, I uh, was actually helping out uh, one of the assistants. Uh, she was an assistant to one of the uh, top producers there in the branch. And I just had did some filing uh, for her. And when I started doing the filing, I realized that they kind of hadn't went through their files in a while. So I kind of really improved their filing system, kind of cleaned it up for them, and just really made it more manageable. And, you know, nothing, nothing extra special. I mean, to me, it was, you know, it seemed like the right thing to do. So it wasn't like I was really uh, doing anything over beyond, above and beyond what I thought, you know, was necessary. So, um, but nonetheless, that made a really good impression on her. And then she went to the producer and said, hey, you know, um, at that time, that producer actually was looking to hire a part-time college student to help her out, you know, with some of her tasks. So uh, she went to him and kind of said, "Hey, you know, you need to take check a, take a look at this Jeff guy. He did an awesome job for you know for me helping me out." So um, had a quick little interview. And he asked me if I was interested, and I thought, you know, what the heck, might as well. You know, I was our working twenty hour, twenty plus hours a week. Why not take on an extra fifteen hours? You know, working here. Um, in my senior year. So uh, I started working there um, part-time, about 15 hours a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And just basically doing, I was basically a glorified intern, meaning I was actually paid now, um, and just doing a lot of the similar tasks I had do, been doing before. Um, but the one big difference was in this case, I started, um, he had me start cold calling for him. And if you don't know what cold calling is, um, you know, it basically is that annoying telemarketer that calls you uh, in the middle of dinner or your favorite TV show and interrupts you to see if you're interested in meeting with a financial advisor. Um, I was that guy. Uh, sorry if that was you and I interrupted your favorite show. 
Uh, but I just basically would call and see if they had any interest in meeting with him because um, I wasn't licensed, so I couldn't you know set the appointment. But I could at least call and see if they wanted to meet with him. And uh, it was pretty nervous, you know, nerve wracking. I never really had done anything in my life, but I thought you know what the heck, we'll give it a try. And sure enough, I actually ended up setting a few appointments with him uh, or for him, excuse me. So we set some appointments, and he was really impressed by that. You know, here I am, you know, this this kid in college, you know, doing some cold calling and you know getting him appointments and he was really impressed by that and we kind of continued uh, our discussions and he actually had made me an offer to hire me as a junior broker to work underneath him and initially um, I turned it down because I wasn't interested I, I felt I was too young um, I really didn't understand the business all that well and I had this bigger vision um, of moving up to St. Louis working at some corporate job um, you know, riding the corporate ladder and just that was kind of like my goal, my vision. And as graduation started getting closer, um, the job that I thought I had lined up turned out had fallen through. Um, turns out the company actually had a layoff and was not hiring. And, you know, they always say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Well, I kind of had because that's where I wanted to work. That's, you know, I, I just felt that's where it was going to be. And turns out it wasn't. So here we are. You know, graduation is, is a few months away. And then, uh, so I thought, hey, what, what am I going to do now? So I entertained the offer again. We had another um, discussion, you know, about the job, the job duties, et cetera. And somewhere in the uh, f uh, first part of the year of uh, 2002, I accepted. And uh, I knew that once I graduated, that I was going to become a junior broker uh, at AG Edwards and Sons. And that's, that's basically how it, it got started. And uh, from there, uh, I, not, you know, I got my licenses. I started doing more cold calling, you know, setting more appointments. And uh, it just kind of became me, I guess. You know, I ended up finding, uh, ended up being a good fit for me. So um, after a year of being a junior broker, I ended up branching off on my own. Um, I actually outgrew the junior broker position and became my own advisor, was able to keep all my clients. And uh, that's how it was up until the point that I got to deploy to Iraq. But um, that's how I got started in the business. You know, it was the internship that led to the part-time job that led to the junior broker position that ultimately led uh, to me becoming my own financial advisor. You know, obviously since then I've left and, uh, you know, helped uh, co-found, you know, my own investment firm, Alliance Investments. And, um, you know, that, that was kind of the path. So uh, there are many, many different paths that you can go. Uh, but for any of those that, you know, if you're really, really interested in, in becoming a financial advisor, um, I think my path is is a, is a good one to mimic just because you do the internship. It gives you, you know, a good, hopefully a good understanding of the, of the position and, you know, basically what it really means to become a financial advisor. I'm amazed that, uh, you know, many people don't really, um, really truly know, you know, what we do. You know, they, they kind of have this Wall Street boiler room impression of, you know, kind of what, what we do. And, you know, obviously that's not the case. Um, but then, you know, I also say that I've had other interns that have followed after me. Once I actually became, you know, a financial advisor, I try to return the favor, you know, to, to my university and allowing interns to come in, you know, and work underneath me. Um, except I wanted to get, have them get more of a feel of what, uh, what it really meant to be a financial advisor. So I had them actually doing some cold calling for seminars and, and such and, and some other tasks so they kind of knew what it really, what it really took, um, not just the filing and the, the paper shredding that I had to do. And um, after me, I've had at least four, if not five interns that ended up becoming a financial advisor you know, with some other firm or at least uh, involved in the financial services industry. So, um, you know, it worked for me, it worked for them. Uh, it can easily work for you. So if you're, you know, still in college and you're still wondering, or you know, you really think this might be a good fit for you, you know, do the, do an internship, do several internships. I actually uh, did some mock interviewing for uh, for the university about a year or so ago, and met this uh, young guy who had already had done two internships with two big firms and was getting ready to do his third. And I mean, you talk about light light years ahead of the competition. I mean, this guy knew what he wanted, so it was it was pretty impressive. So. Now, if you uh, if you're if you're currently working and you're not in school and you want to do it, I know the internship's kind of tough because especially if it's a non-paid, but there are some paid internships, so you still might be able to um, you know do a paid internship to kind of look, see if it's really a good fit for you. So uh, I really hope that was helpful. Um, obviously, if you have any more questions and you want to 
uh, hit me up, you know, just shoot me an email uh, or can contact me uh, via the blog and I'll be glad to assist you as much as I can and just kind of give you my, my tips and, and, you know, my expertise, uh, you know, and, and hopefully, you know, uh, have you walk down a career path that ends up being, you know, the perfect fit for you. So thanks again for uh, checking in and uh, stopping in and listening to the, uh, the video cast here. So uh, stop by and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon.